Hi, John here from DefeatingDivorce.com and in today's video we're going to be discussing the most helpful strategies you can implement to avoid arguing and stop fighting with your husband or wife. Before we start the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to be notified whenever we publish new videos. There are a few things that can make your home life more stressful than constantly fighting with your spouse. When my wife Emily and I were going through a rough patch in our marriage, it felt like all we did was fight. Not only did our fighting increase our hostility and animosity towards one another, but they also negatively affected our physical and mental health. Through seeing a couples counselor, we learned some helpful tips on how to not only stop fighting with one another, but diffuse an argument altogether. Pay close attention to the following tips. Number 1. Never have a conversation angry. Although in the heat of the moment, biting your tongue may be hard, you'll find your conversations will be much more diplomatic and calm if you simply allow yourself time to cool off. Instead of allowing your emotions to get the best of you, simply walk away and say something like, I want to talk about this later when I'm less likely to lash out in anger. Spend the next couple hours composing your thoughts and cooling off. Number 2. Always say I love you before bed. Ideally, you would work out your issue entirely before bed, but if that is impossible, a quick I love you, we can talk more about this tomorrow will help to both thaw some of the ice between you and remind you both of the bigger picture. You'll both wake up the next day on a better, not a bitter note. Number 3. Be comfortable saying and meaning the words I am sorry. Fighting with someone who refuses to take accountability and apologize for their part in something is not only beyond frustrating, but can really escalate and draw the argument out. If you can check your pride at the door and humbly and genuinely apologize for your mistakes, you will greatly improve your ability to de-escalate the situation. Number 4. Try your best to understand their perspective. Have you ever heard the saying about two sides to every story with the truth usually lying somewhere in the middle? That is essentially the very idea I'm getting at with tip number 4. You have your opinions and they have theirs. Very often neither side is entirely right or entirely wrong. Exercising empathy and listening to their perspective will not only make you more agreeable and logical in their eyes, but likely change your perspective on the entire situation as well. Number 5. Pick and choose your battles wisely. Not everything is worth getting all worked up over, so be choosy when it comes to putting your foot down. Think to yourself, will this even matter a week from now? If the answer is no, perhaps reconsider if it's worth getting bent out of shape about. Emily and I had this funny little trick where we each agreed we were each only allowed to blow up three times a year which made us have to pick and choose our battles carefully. We went from making mountains out of molehills to strategically saving our blowups for moments that ultimately never arrived. Number six, let the past be the past. So many couples have a hard time letting go of certain mistakes made by their partners. Instances in which you have felt totally betrayed or blindsided by your spouse can be very painful and difficult to get over. However, after resolving an issue, it is very important that you do not continue to drag it out by bringing it up over and over. When your spouse has apologized and shown remorse for their mistake, it is unfair to hold said mistake over their head and continuously rehash it. Let the past stay in the past, and if you can't do that, then perhaps you should reconsider your future together. So there you have it. Put these tips into practice and there's no reason why you shouldn't notice a decrease in both the severity and frequency of your fights. Just keep in mind there is no definitive cure for all your relationship problems. What has worked for others may not work for you. The best thing you and your spouse can do is to simply keep a positive attitude, never stop loving, and make a commitment to work on your issues together. And by the way, if you're looking for some great resources that will help you and your spouse mend your relationship and deepen your bond, head on over to www.defeatingdivorce.com forward slash resources and check out some of the best services and products that have personally helped my wife and I improve our relationship. Again, you can access these suggestions by typing www.defeatingdivorce.com forward slash resources into your browser or by simply clicking the link in the video description below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and share it with friends and family who may also find it helpful as well. Again, my name is John and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.